Deborah Flores Narvaez, also known as Debbie, was described as a vibrant individual by a close friend on Oxygen's Sin City murders. Her passion for dancing was undeniable. This was evident when she made the decision to leave her finance career behind in order to pursue a career as a Las Vegas showgirl, as reported by CBS News. By the end of 2010, she had already been a part of the chorus in a few productions. However, on December 13th of that same year, a show producer contacted the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department to report that Flores Narvaez had missed a midnight rehearsal for Fantasy at the Luxor. She had been working on a special segment for the show with pop singer Cisco, according to the Las Vegas Journal Review. This was supposed to be her debut. Michelle Fleck, chief deputy district attorney with the Clark County DA's office, told Sin City Murders. It was a really important night for her. Deborah Debbie Flores Narvaez Goes Missing Flores Narvaez's roommate reported her missing to the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department 48 hours after she disappeared. Glenn Brook, a retired LVMPD officer, mentioned that there were no signs of foul play at the residence. The roommate informed authorities that Flores Narvaez had visited her ex-boyfriend Jason Griffith's house. Griffith, also known as Blue, worked as a dancer at the Cirque du Soleil show love at the Mirage Hotel. He stated that Flores Narvaez had visited him around 6.30 p.m. and they had a brief conversation. According to Mark DiGiacomo, Chief Deputy District Attorney of Clark County, Griffith informed the police that Flores Narvaez might be suicidal. Brooks stated that after interviewing her close circle, investigators found no evidence to support Griffith's statement. Debbie Flores Narvaez's case points to foul play detectives retrieved surveillance footage from the residence of Flores Narvaez. The footage depicted her driving away in her car at 6 p.m., wearing black boots. A bolo, be on the lookout alert, was issued for the vehicle. Law enforcement officers concentrated on Flores Narvaez's phone, social media, and financial transactions. Dean Rates, a former LVMPD homicide detective, stated Flores Narvaez's activity ceased on the evening of December 12th. The possibility of foul play appeared to be high. Investigators explored the theory that Flores Narvaez's attempt to stand out from the chorus may have incited jealousy. However, this line of inquiry turned out to be a dead end. Griffith regained the focus of the detectives as the case gained media attention. Fleck recollected, he displays signs of concern and seems to be making an effort to assist with the investigation. However, upon delving further into Griffith's past, apprehensions arose. Brooks stated, Jason had previously been arrested for a domestic violence incident involving Deborah Flores. Simultaneously, the case took a different turn. Flores Narvaez's sister informed the police that her sister had ended a relationship with another man in 2009. The two of them were going to pursue dance together, but they also had a very tumultuous relationship, said Flores Narvaez's friend, Devon Corbett. It was a relationship that involved violence to the point that Flores Narvaez had ended up with scars, said Fleck. She was able to sue, and she got an award of $250,000. But investigators determined that this ex-boyfriend was in Baltimore when the victim vanished. He was cleared. Investigators focus on Jason Blue Griffith. On December 15th, Flores Narvaez's vehicle was discovered by investigators. Inside were black boots similar to the ones she was seen wearing in the surveillance footage. However, the car did not provide any evidence to further the investigation. Ten days later, the police requested Griffith to come in for questioning. Due to the media attention surrounding the case, he decided to have his lawyer present. During the interview, Griffith mentioned that he had a casual friendship with Flores Narvaez, who he claimed wanted a more serious relationship with him. He also stated 
that he was involved with someone else. Griffith maintained that the last time he saw Flores Narvaez was when she drove away in her car. Authorities searched Griffith's home for DNA evidence linking him to Flores Narvaez. Rates stated there was no blood or any other evidence indicating that a crime took place in his residence. Griffith's roommate, Louis Colombo, and his girlfriend were also interviewed by detectives. Both individuals claimed to have no knowledge of the case. On December 21st, the missing persons unit held a press conference seeking assistance from the public. Following tips received, investigators discovered a female body resembling Flores Narvaez's description near Lake Mead, just across the Arizona border. However, the victim, who had been burned, was identified as a local madam from a Las Vegas brothel, not Flores Narvaez, according to investigators. Authorities are proa, 